winter may seem like a long time ago to some of us. But a brief government shutdown of Buncombe County has spurred one man to take some action. News 13's John Lee joins us. John, he took his complaint to county commissioners. His public comment was fueled by frustration with one Buncombe County department. What were you thinking? In the heat of summer, Eddie Harwood is still simmering about what he considers a wrong done here. About what happened this winter at the Buncombe County Register of Deeds office. You can't let one department set a precedent. Harwood says his concerns date back to February 12th, when 7.1 inches of snow were recorded at Asheville Regional Airport. Register of Deeds closed through the next day due to inclement weather. And I thought, what the hell? This thing has never closed. You know, DSS don't close. He's a former paramedic in Buncombe County. Whenever I worked EMS, we never closed. Harwood says shutting down local government is authorized only by the Board of Commissioners. Other departments stayed open. I had three employees to call me from the county and say, can you believe what happened? The adverse weather policy spells out that workers who can't show up are required to take a vacation day, comp time, or take the day off without pay. Register of Deeds' Drew Reisinger has no comment. Fueling Harwood's outrage, the photocopy of Reisinger's Facebook page showing him sledding on those off days. EMS, uh, the Sheriff's Department, you know, all these people are working. And then you're, you're out doing nothing, playing in the snow, that don't fly. Now Harwood thinks more than a thousand county employees who did work those winter days should be compensated, which he estimates could cost up to a million dollars. County Commission Chairman David Gantt says the matter will be looked at by Attorney Bob Deutsch. We'll be trying to see what our obligation is, if any, and if so, what is it, and what's the best way to do it in, uh, in the most efficient ways uh, for the, uh, the taxpayers' benefit. Now, Harwood says this shouldn't have been swept under the rug and that it's going to cost the county a lot of money.